Hey guys, it's Eric at Prestige. I want to introduce you to one of our 632 cubic inch big block Chevrolets. Now this is for an airboat application and specifically in the industrial market. So work boats, uh, tour boats, that sort of thing. That's what this engine is geared towards. Uh, it's designed with a lot of bottom end torque. So we're talking 820 foot pounds of torque, very low in the RPM range. Horsepower is 780 horsepower, and you may be thinking that's a little bit low for a 632. Again, this is designed for the industrial airboats. Um, if you need something that's a little higher horsepower, uh, depending on what prop you have, what gearbox you have, you need to spin it a little faster, we can design those packages for you. But again, this one in particular is 780 horsepower for the industrial airboat. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the engine. So it starts off. This is a Merlin block, so aftermarket block, a 4600 bore. It's based off the 454 Chevrolet. Now this is a tall deck motor, so it's a little bit taller than what you would see in a factory GM block. Uh, all forged rotating kit, 4340 steel crank, H-beam rod, and a J&E custom piston. Now we have that, again, specifically made for the airboat applications. Um, underneath we have a, a Steffs oil pan. Now this oil pan, we've done a few changes through uh, over the, the course of a, a year or so, developing, making these pans better. We've worked hand in hand with Steffs uh, to add some kickouts and baffling and such to make sure, again, in the airboat industry, as you're using these in the RPM range and in the conditions uh, on the water and the swamps, uh, that you're not losing oil pressure uh, and, and lots of oil control. Again, capacity is a big thing in an airboat engine. So these engines work very hard. They gain a lot of oil temperature. So again, having a lot of oil pan capacity is another important issue that we've strived to achieve with these Steph, uh, custom fabricated oil pans. Uh, this is a hydraulic roller engine. So no valve adjustments, etc. Again, hydraulic roller lifters. Um, <clears throat> It has an SFI balancer on the front, so this is an aluminum piece from Innovators West. Again, that's one of the things that you don't want to happen, especially when you're on the water, is to have a balancer come apart on you. Uh, so again, high quality piece from Innovators West. Uh, on top, we have a set of AFR uh, cylinder heads. Now again, these are CNC ported. These are to, to handle the big cubic inch of this 632. Uh, single plane aluminum manifold. And then we have a Holley Dominator on top. This is a 1050. One thing about this particular carburetor, again, designing this for the conditions that this engine is going to operate in, this carburetor is built for a street strip application, wide open throttle. We had to do a lot of adjustments, a lot of tuning on this carburetor to get it to perform where we needed to under the conditions that this engine is going to be in. Uh, so we've changed everything on here from main jets to air bleeds to modifying the emulsion tubes. Lots of work and development goes into making these carburetors run well in an airboat application. Ignition wise, this is an HEI distributor uh, from DUI, custom built set of ignition wires. And we have a loom kit here from Moroso. These are built to go underneath headers so the airboat headers uh, don't cause any interference with the ignition wires. A couple of other features that this industrial application comes with is number one is valve spring oilers. So there's actually a plate here uh, that is plumbed into the oiling system with an oil filter adapter that you can hook your cooler onto. It comes plumbed so these valve spring oilers uh, keep the valve springs cool. Again, that's, that's just one of the keys in longevity, especially in one of these industrial applications when they're under a heavy load for an extended period of time. Uh, it's important to keep those valve springs cool and it basically just lengthens the life of the valve springs. Um, there's other features that we can offer. There's coatings. Uh, we can do piston oilers. So again, this one does have, because of the industrial application, has piston cooling jets. Uh, so we install those here. Uh, it actually sprays oil onto the bottom of the pistons to keep the pistons cool for those, again, heavy loads for extended period of time. Um, we, we can offer the JW plates. We can offer uh, anything you need for your airboat, uh, airboat application. We're the guys to call. Uh, if you want to go fuel injection instead of carburetor, we can do that. 
Give us a call for a custom estimate, 704-782-7170, or visit our website at prestigemoto.com.